Hey, it's winter and cold in Mississippi. The surface temperature of the water is 41 degrees and the crappie were sluggish, but we ended up catching some nice ones. I had to try a bunch of different jig weights and colors, but we got them to bite. I'll show you just how I caught them. Thanks for watching. I started with the Wild Willie's Wall Bash 1.6 inch soft plastic bait and this color piranha is awesome. It's kind of a firecracker back with a pearl belly and I put a little orange spike it on the belly. I think it may mimic a bluegill, I don't know, but they seem to like it. So there you see my jig coming up on a nice fish about two feet off the bottom. There's the weight above the jig right on top of the fish right there and he didn't turn. So I'm dropping it down to the bottom. Fish those bumps along the bottom. That bump right there is a fish just coming above it. He turned, uh, but he didn't follow it. So now I'm just dragging that jig above the bottom. There's one just came up and ate it. This is a great wintertime pattern. A lot of times you'll drag it on the bottom, won't even see the fish, but they'll come up and eat it. And you can put a lot of fish in the boat. They'll surprise you. You won't even see them on the bottom, but they'll come up and eat your jig or they'll show themselves so you can cast to them a second time. Get in this boat. Look <clears> at <throat> the size of that toad, man. Goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> Right at 12 and 3 quarter inch black crappie. Look how, <laughs> look how chunky that dude is. Get in there. We're letting them go today. Hey, this would be a good time to hit the like button. Please subscribe. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. All right, there's a nice looking fish about 19 feet deep. There's my cast coming down through the water column. It's about to drop right on top of the fish right about now. Got to be as smooth as possible when you're presenting your bait. A lot of times you'll only get one shot. That fish was not interested, so I reeled it up. Cast it back out there. Sometimes you get a second shot at them like this fish and had to move my transducer. Now you see the weight and jig coming down on top of the fish. So this is my sh second shot at it. Let's see if he'll eat it. Got to twitch it a little bit like I did just there. He turned, he's locked in, boom. Got it, yes. That is so much fun. Sucker is right 10 feet out. That's a good one too. Man. Look at the size of that slab right there. <clears throat> 13 and three quarter black crappie. Look at that mud on his belly. Suckers are getting down in there. There we go. So I'm getting out my soft plastics. I keep them in a gallon ziploc baggy and this comet color is awesome black with a chartreuse tail they love it and this is the wall bash that 1.6 inch soft plastic so i pinched off the tail i'm gonna have to shed this thing Man, this wind rider is warm and I don't even have the uh, insulated liner. I'm telling you, these things are awesome. So I fished for like 20 minutes. They weren't interested in hitting that comet color. So I went back to the piranha, that firecracker with pearl belly started fishing it again 
There you see my jig and weight coming through the water column. You can see a nice looking crappie right on the bottom, about 16, 17 feet from the boat. About to come on top of it. Let's see if he'll eat it. First one missed it. Probably didn't see it. Now there's the second one. He saw it. He's turned. He is locked on. Oh, he missed it. Keep it right there. He's still following it. Boom, he got it. There he is. Finally. That's a crappie. That sucker's right on the bottom. Oh yeah, it was a crappie. Get in this boat, goodness gracious. Look at the size of this toad. Mm. Yeah, did he want that thing? Man, he choked it. Look how far down that gullet that jig is. Dang. He wanted it. That's what you like to see. That's when you know they're liking your color or your bait. That's a toad. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at the size of that. He's big as my shoe. 14 inches. Goodness gracious. 14 inch black crappie. Go back home. I'll show you my setup here in just a minute. So even though I just got bit, I decided to go with a little bit heavier jig to see if I could get it down to them faster and maybe trigger bites a little bit easier. All right. I'm gonna put on a 30 second ounce. I always try to fish with the heaviest weight I can get away with. Okay, I did have on 64th, but I'm going to put on a 32nd ounce. See if I can hop it around a little bit more and get them triggered to bite. And it'll get down there a lot quicker. So monkey puke is wild Willie's version of monkey milk and it's a little bit less shiny and obtrusive than that piranha with that firecracker glitter in it. And this time I left the keeper on the jig mainly because my fingers were too cold to clip it off. 30 second ounce. There's a couple nice looking fish, two, three feet off the bottom. There's my jig dropping down to them. You can see the jig is dropping through the water column a little bit faster. Those fish weren't interested. You can see the jig right above those fish on the bottom. The one just saw it. Boom. There's one right on the bottom. He got it, yes. He thumped it. All right, I think they're wanting a monkey puke. Hope it's a cat, uh, crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. Get in here, little fella. Little keeper. Probably close to 12, 11 and three quarters. Black crappie, 11 and three quarter. He's cold, get back in there. So I decided to try this blue fire walker. Pinched off the tail. I'm changing up colors quite often. I really want to trigger an aggressive bite whenever I can. There you see my jig and weight dropping through the water column. 
and there's a couple nice looking fish two or three feet off the bottom there's my jig and weight got to bring it right above him try not to touch him there's one on the bottom oh he turned he's got it he got that one yes right there on the bottom Get up in the boat, little fella. Bottom lip. Say what? Eleven and three quarter. Black crappie. Thick. He would have been a good eating size. Yes. So I'm going back to the comet color. There's a nice looking crappie. My favorite co colors are the Comet, which is the black chartreuse tail. Um, I also like blue firewalker. And I like the pearly gates, which is a pearl version. And I like the piranha as well. Okay, he's interested. He's following it right there. Let's see if he's going to eat it. He's locked on. Come on. I thought he was locked on. He's taking his time. Come on, fish. He's studying it. Okay, now there's another nice fish right below it, so I decided to go for it instead. He saw it right away. He's about to turn, I think. Oh, he's looking at it now. He is turned. He is locked on. There we go. Got that one. Yes, he got it. <laughs> right under the boat. Man. I can get him in and he's hooked outside the mouth. It's a good one now. He swiped at it. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, man. Big as my shoe. Good night. 14 inch. Black crappie. 14. Black crappie. Get in there. All right, there's a nice looking fish about three feet off the bottom. There's my jig and weight coming down to it. Got to try to be as smooth as possible. Kind of line it up. Okay, now you can see it glowing. Oh, he just turned. He's looking at it. Oh, he got it. There's one right on the bottom. Nice one. He got locked on and ate it. Look at the size of this toad. Goodness gracious. We are going to have to weigh you, fella. Gosh. Mm. My goodness. Look at the size of this. It's like the size of my boot. Goodness gracious. 14. This sucker's 14 inches, but I bet you he weighs oh man, close to two pounds. Only 14 inches. Let's check it out. 1.75. 1.75. Pound three quarter black crappie. 14 inches. Get in there. That's what I'm talking about. There's a nice fish, two or three feet off the bottom. A couple others right on the bottom. There's my jig and weight coming about 27 feet from the boat. About to ease on top of that nice looking fish. Let's see if he'll eat it. That small one, he was interested. He came up. That smaller one came up and got it. I wanted that big one. Oh, man. <laughs> man, that's fun, I'll tell you. Woo. Hey, I'll take any of them that'll eat my jig. 41 degree water out here. These crappie are eating. Get in the boat, little fella. 
11 inch, a little over 11 and a quarter black. So you know that other fish was probably a good 13 or 14 inch fish. All right, here's the setup. All day, I've been using 10 pound test monofilament, quarter ounce slip sinker pegged. Right now, I've got a 16th ounce crappie magnet. It's that hollow head, I think. I don't have anything in there, but it's a, it's a 16th ounce. I got the um, Wild Willie's OCD Comet cut off part of that tail. And I've caught them on 64th ounce, a 32nd. I think they're hitting the 16th ounce the best, so I'd rather fish the heaviest one I can get away with, too. All right, there's a school of shad a couple feet off the bottom. There's one crappie about six feet off the bottom. There's my jig and weight coming down. Got to get the transducer lined up right there. Now I'm coming down on top of that crappie right on top of the shad. I didn't get that lined up very well. He turned. Oh, he turned. And he's still coming back. He was looking for it. So now I'm dropping my jig down to him. He saw it. He's locked on now. Got that one. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool. Yes. He swam back around, took a look at it, and said, I'm going to take me a bite of that. Get up in the boat. Ooh, another fat toad. Gosh. Gosh. <clears throat> look at that mambo jumbo. 13 and a quarter. Black crappie, toad, shoulder. Get back in there. There's my jig and weight dropping down. That's a nice looking crappie, about 35 feet from the boat. It's 14 feet deep, I think. There's my jig and weight right on top of it. Oh, he turned. He's chasing it. He got that one. 38 feet out. Yes, he got it. And that is a good one, too. Oh, my goodness. Shoot, yeah. He didn't want to get in this boat. Get up in this boat, sir. Oh, my goodness. Look at that fat toad. Gosh. Mm. Oh, my goodness. 13 and 3 quarter inch black crappie. Yes. Get him back in there. There's my jig and weight coming down on top of that crappie a couple feet off the bottom. That's a good looking return. Means he's probably decent size. He's turning. He is looking at it. He is uh, just about to be locked on. Come on. Oh, he got it. Got him. Yes. Oh, he came up and got it. Oh my goodness. They're eating that comet color. They love that black with a chartreuse tail. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Mm. Goodness, get up in this boat, little toad. Mm. My goodness gracious, top lip. They want that Wild Willies OCD? Yes. Gosh. 14 and a half. Oh, sorry, little fella. 14 and a half. Black crappie. Get in there. All right, there's my jig and weight right on the bottom. Coming up on that fish, each rectangle is about five feet wide. So now I'm about seven feet away from the fish. I'm bringing the jig towards me, towards that fish that's glowing on the bottom. It looks like a good size crappie. There's my jig and weight right above the crappie right now. 
Oh, he turned. He's coming now. Oh, he saw. He's coming up. Got him. Right on the bottom. Yes! He took a look at it and decided, you know what? I might have to eat that dude. Get here in the boat. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, it's cold, man. Thirteen, three quarter inch. Black crappie. Oh yeah. There's my jig and weight coming down. That's a nice looking crappie sitting right on the bottom. My jig and weight are about to come right on top of it. Oh, he saw it. He turned. He's locked on. He got it. Got that one. Oh my goodness. That's a good way to end the day. That's a big one too. Or, it's not a big one, but it's a good one. Get in here. Oh, it's over 12. All right. <clears throat> Set your mouth up. <laughs> there you go. Set your mouth. 12, uh, just over 12 inches. Black crappie, last fish of the day. Man, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. God bless you and go fishing soon.